Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Micrometeoroids rain down upon the hull of the SCS Lotus as we try to put our uh, shields up and hold back the onslaught. And a solar flare is coming in. Oh boy, this is a tough, this is not a great area. So four hours until that solar flare comes in. I think we're gonna have to stick around. We've recently defeated several uh, boardings. We've defeated two vessels, including the SGS Kitsune Tails, which is an amazingly titled vessel. Let's go ahead and grab this energy Hyperium and ice. And let's also, do we have a scanner up and running? I think we do. I, uh, somebody commented that there's most likely nobody left alive on this ship because we left. And in that time, maybe a day or two has passed. I'm also not getting... I'm not weird, I'm really, I'm not seeing into the vessel. So there's still some folks alive here, I assume. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look. Team 1 is otherwise occupied right now. Team 2... Oh, 3 and 4 seem okay so let's get three and four over to these vessels and let's have three and four go and take a look at this uh derelict here and give it a quick explore in the meantime yes we are kind of letting these guys starve out uh whoever's left of them let's see if can we scan into here at all yeah i don't know why the scanner doesn't work it must only work on active ships maybe you can't scan destroyed vessels or something i'm not sure but the two shooting teams are going to move as one i don't want to i don't want no surprises here Let's go in through the side here and uh, hurry up, Cappy. There we go. And let's go in through, I think you can also dock like here and come in through this burst hole here. I don't think they're going to be able to defend it if there is anybody left alive. We're going to find out. But there's not much to defend either. Okay, ready? Ready, teams? All right, team four, position yourselves first. Team three, come on in. Okay, it looks like they still could have done some defending. So we'll have to be careful for that in the future. But as I was told in the comments, I do agree that I think there will be nobody left alive. We are truly a deadly crew, are we not? Well, welcome back to solid content and welcome to Space Haven. Oh, solar flare's hitting. Okay, this could be bad for them. Although, yeah, you're not going to see any fires here. And it sounds like we have four fires breaking out at home. Oh, boy. That's not ideal. Okay. Oh, six fires. Okay, that's not... Oh, oh just six fires? Okay. So, what are we dealing with here? Let's close that and seal in whatever's going on in there. And we've got a fire in a hallway. We've got a bunch of fires in this hallway. So, I'm just going to leave that, actually. And the reason for... Oh, come on. Let's close these vents. The reason I'm just going to leave this and not seal things off is because, yeah, once this fire gets dealt with, all this area is going to need uh, access to a gas scrubber anyway, so I better not vent it off. But these areas are going to fill up with smoke pretty quick, so we might as well vent those off. In the meantime, we'll just keep exploring because I don't want them to run out of oxygen. You guys go explore down there. And we'll see what we can take from this ship. And then we should carefully... Uh, maybe my idea is not going so well. It's starting to burn in there, too. But again, like, oh, man, everything's... Fire spread very quickly through that whole area. Good Lord. Solar flares, I tell ya. Do we not have somebody on? Okay, let's turn on... Tur off sh yeah, turn shields on, Max. Somebody should be working the shields console. I'm not sure why they've left. The temperature is nominal. O2 is nominal. There's no hazardous gases in that area. Oh, we got a couple of fires here, too, so let's close that vent. That fire is going to spread soon, so hopefully some folks are on that. Okay, our whole team seems to be on that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Team 3 and 4, like, they're over here. They're going to come back to the ship and be like, hey, what did we miss? And there's going to be smoke everywhere, and everybody's going to be like, I remember the great fire of, of da Stardate 536. Do you remember the great fire? Scavenger's Fist has been explored. So let's get you guys back over here. Still running, though. That's weird that it's still running, but all the bodies... I can't even find the bodies. Maybe we could assume they were rescued by the other slavers, and they're all just waiting over here now. Okay, I'm going to look at the damage of the ship later. I'm just not paying attention to that at the moment. So let's transfer over. Oh, beautiful haul. Beautiful haul, as usual. Let's get all of that stuff over onto our vessel. And cannot salvage from a derelict... Yeah. 
Oh, well, we're going to undraft them. That's why. Oh, actually, no. We're going to draft them again. And here's what we're going to do. You two, come over here. Let's dock back here in this tail section. And uh, let's take a little peek around and see if anybody's passed passed away since those micrometeoroid attacks and since their complete lack of oxygen. If anything, they're going to be quite weak. But uh, we'll have to be careful. I don't. We're not bringing the full stormtrooper force aboard, so I don't want to, you know, cause any problems here. Let's get this repaired. Oops. Let's get it repaired, please. And let's assign that to somebody. Skill one is not great, but let's like we just need this to go here. We need to get power back up and running to these areas. Another skill one is assigned to that job. Okay. Everybody's like not too happy with the situation over here. O2 is nominal though, and s temperature is pretty high. Um, high body temperature across the board we're seeing. Retinin is repairing uh, the damage that was done to that, which will be good because we need to get our hull stable again. Oh my goodness, okay. It's quite the opposite. These folks are in for a fight. So let's duck into here. A few down already. And uh, I guess we're pressing forward. I didn't want to shoot out in space because see, the body's just despawn. It's a whole problem. It's a whole thing. So let's kind of cruise through this vessel. Again, it still has power as well, which is always so eerie. It's so eerie when a ship has power still. And it's completely destroyed. All right, pop the door. Come on. There somewhere. If we clear the ship this side here... I wish we could dock right in this hole here. Oh, we got maybe... Hang on now. Uh, creepy Bridgie, I want you to talk to... I want you to go and free Mavis here, and then carry on. Can you free Vitrian? Where are you guys going? Okay, screw... Okay. <laughs> if they don't want to be freed, then they're just trying to split us up. I don't know why they walked past them to get to their task point, but uh, it's nice to free the slaves when you can, because I think sometimes they fight back. I'm not sure if I imagined that or not, but I'm pretty sure they, they, they'll they put up a little bit of a fight. The command deck. Here was the piercing shot, I believe, that uh, made them have to abandon their firing post and gave us a bit of an advantage over them. Not much left for them now, but at any point we're going to run into the stragglers. Looks like they've got a lot of resources for us, though. I hope we get to claim all those. I'm not sure. Any second now, though, we're going to see them. Oh, my goodness. Okay. See that way. Okay, let's bring you out here. Okay, Aya is down. Zara, is there? What are you doing? Zara's down. Oh my goodness, that was brutal. Zara was down, you guys, you monsters. All right, we're gonna go in here and check this area here. I'm gonna split up. I feel a little more confident now. So three, you go this way. Four, you go this way. Dencarion looks to be bleeding. A regressing open wound, so we're going to need to pull Dencarion out of here pretty soon. Okay, continue on this way. Okay, can one of you guys uh, free... Here, there we go. Creepy Bridgie. I'd like you to free this person now that you can. There we are. And... I don't think Grant's going to make it. Where's Grant? I can't even see Grant. Okay, can we talk to you at all? Yeah, let's talk to Mavis and free them. Military Alliance, declare war. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do that. Take them as refugees. Very good. And Grant, we're going to have to, like, save Grant. We can free him at least. Okay, there we go. And we're going to have to pick him up. Okay, so folks, we need to get you back to a shuttle and out of here. You guys can continue. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be quite sad. Oh, boy. It's weird. They're not able to give up. They're only able to lie there while we shoot them. It's quite depressing. But, hey, we'll, we can use the water. All right, let's get back to your vessel. Oh, and the last person died, I think, too. Um, let's undraft you so you can get some medical attention. Let's get you guys... This, they still have enough stamina, and I don't think they have any major health issues, so I'm just going to get them their oxygen. 
And we're gonna board over here so we can properly access the ship and kind of go through it. Maybe collect Mavis here and clean up the rest of our, oh, is there no O2 on this shuttle? Nope, there's no, okay. Yeah, let's get you guys back home then on draft. Teams three and four are off and sleeping. So I've sent team two in here to kind of mop up things. I'm not seeing, uh, I'm not seeing this as, oh, it is a derelict now. So it's been given up. And there is, oh my goodness, a lot of bodies. <laughs> oh my goodness, select all minus the slave collars. We don't need any trouble with the military alliance. So again, yeah, pretty decent haul. I'm not sure if that's everything we saw in the storage. Uh, and I don't think, there might've been a refugee or a slave or two to save, but sadly, yeah, I don't see them. Sadly, they did not make it. Although I think we rescued one of the uh, refugees and got them over there. Uh, that is very packed. This is going to be a problem soon on our O2 and stuff. In fact, in some spots with zero O2. Oh, that's the wall. <laughs> I mean, 11 is not much better. So, yeah, we're going to need to spin up some more oxygen producers probably and then uh, sell off some of these slavers to justice as soon as we can. Elizabeth has decided to join our ranks. Welcome aboard, Elizabeth. Where can I find your name here? Oh, we're going to have to rename you. There's already another Elizabeth. Or is that the... She must have joined our ranks and then immediately went to go to sleep. Actually, that makes sense because she has a fatty acids deficiency and anemia as well. So that means, yeah, she was the Elizabeth who was eating algae. Welcome aboard, Elizabeth. Lyson, can you get a bed next time, please? All right, Elizabeth, what are your stats? Weapons 3, accuracy 70%, which is going to increase dramatically by 20% once we get you fed properly. Okay. Elizabeth, you're going to have to join a team here. It's team 2. What do we got here? Weapons 2, 93, 81, 106, 64. Okay, so maybe Gabby. Ugh, Samantha, no good. Okay, team 4, you know, if we're being honest, I'm going to say it. Team 4 sort of sucks. I think we should get rid of Kathy, who has a not great accuracy... Although she's probably holding a shotgun, right? So that doesn't help the accuracy. But also a number f a level five on surrender. So Kathy, we're gonna change your uh, outfit and schedule. I'm gonna change your outfit to be, I think, gr uh, not green. Green is our soldiers. That's what you are now. But you look more like you're gonna be a useful industry person. So Kathy, we're gonna customize you, turn you into an industry person. All right. I think that's what the industry color is. Good. We're going to go into schedules here. And I'm going to find another yellow shirt. Brevin. Copy settings. And I'm going to find Kathy. And make her uh, that shift now. We're going to find and copy a green shirt. Haley. Copy settings. I'm going to go find Elizabeth and copy those settings. So Elizabeth now is part of the shooty team's schedule. Okay, where's Elizabeth? Here we go. So that's uh, four without Kathy. So I need Vaughn, Scrote, Samantha, and Elizabeth. Okay. So that is the new uh, team four. The bones are being uh, dismantled and brought over to my uh, to the SCS Lotus, my main ship. However, a warning comes through. Another Slaver's Guild ship is on its way in. So we definitely don't want to be caught with our pants down. We don't want to be caught with a lot of people over here. What I might have to do... Actually, let's do that now. Let's turn off any salvaging. Again, I was just trying to see what we could get out of it and, and kind of turn off some of those uh, ever-running uh, power stations. We don't really need a power generator over there running. We should get those guns and some of these bodies, but that's going to be a lot of logistics left to do and only five hours to do it. Uh, these people are uh, not here, but I do, I think some of the soldiers actually aren't even allowed to go over there. I think that is the way I set it up. So that should keep a crew over here. What we could do in the meantime, though, is we could consider booting up the targeting jammer. Um, yeah, let's start charging that and let's get somebody working on the shields. So that when, by the time, in the next two hours, by the time the slaver ship gets here, we will be able to, there we are. We will be able to continue finishing our whittling away of this ship while we get ready to do battle with this new ship that's coming in. So let's take a look. They're coming in from the northern sectors. 
and they're gonna land on top of us, and that will be the third ship in this one sector that we have managed to take to pieces. The SGS Morning Wolf is back. I remember you, Morning Wolf. Oh, let's slow down time here. You have two disruptors and two missile launchers, two shield batteries. Overall, a pretty strong looking ship. We could probably look to, uh, let's see, what designs are the same? I think they're all the exact same ship. So we could probably look to the design here to see. I, I, I wish I could see what they had as far as stability, but those were destroyed in the fires. So it looks like fairly defensible ships though. So we're gonna probably wanna destroy it rather than board them. Uh, unless of course they feel like boarding us, which they are certainly more than welcome to do. But for now, the standoff, what happened to Dr. Aura? Dr. Aura just took some damage or something? Somebody just did. High body temperature. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Well, the standoff will continue. I'm gonna worry about, hi, ah, we're fine. The temperatures are fine. <laughs> Although I should probably vent, open up those vents again and just let air kind of circulate. Okay, the waiting game continues. Wish us luck. Well, the ship has left the sector. It sat there like a looming threat for a while, but seeing no action, it simply just decided to leave. Oh, look at all the bodies, the stacks of bodies of slaver bodies. <laughs> I think we're done transferring all of the pieces from our destroyed ships. So Captain Annie orders everyone back and orders turrets on full operation, nav on full operation, and orders us to warp. The SGS Lotus chases the pirates down into a southern sector. Chance to evade is successful, but not for long. We only have to roll that dice a few more times, and here we are dropping out of warp right next to them. Captain Annie has ordered everyone to their uh, stations. So that we Oh, there's another corpse here from another ship we left behind recently. I think the Morning Wolf is not looking forward to what happens next as we order the targeting jammer to stop charging and then prepare our disruptors to fire. Okay, well, we'll prepare our disruptors as soon as they're able to, to fire on the Morning Wolf. The first shots open up and our turrets return fire right on the shut the, the the what do you call this the the command deck of the i don't know why i'm never gonna remember command deck it's not that hard to remember <laughs> and their shields surely are not going to hold for very long we just outgun them already however we are taking a hit as well so this could get a tiny bit spicy with a couple of punched holes in our beautiful red hull uh they are certainly faring a little bit worse and we're going to start the missile launcher as well now it joins in the fray hopefully we can keep these powered up looks like one of our disruptors is getting a little low on stuff but that's all right because they are starting to get a little low on extra hull and so they jump a likely story captain annie orders us to pursue our shields are are simply just too strong and we're just going to hold out so there's no point in stopping the fight now. And they run back up to their old brothers. But the evasion fails, and we're stuck in this one here. Looks like we're going to be adding another trophy to our graveyard any second now. We pull up right in front of it. Command deck, right to command deck. Oh, uh, 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 uh. They almost got the first shot off, but uh, that honor goes to us. Continuing to lower their hit points here they're gonna try to jump we're gonna decline and they jump one more time but this is definitely the last time they'll be able to jump as they have very little hull integrity left and our shields held through that entire onslaught the evasion succeeded so they don't join their friends in that particular graveyard oh this is a great spot to drop out I'm glad that they chose to die here because I want to get these resources We drop out, and we open fire, hopefully, and most likely, for the last time. A couple of good shots from that missile launcher right away. It's really nice when the shields... No, of course not. It's really nice when the shields go down right before the missile hits, because you get that, I think, plus four damage to the hull. And the Morning Wolf is destroyed. Beautiful. All right, we're going to see if these shuttles get up to anything. And it looks like they don't. So in the meantime, let's go grab this ice and let's grab this energium. 
Actually, we should get the carbon as well. And uh, we don't necessarily... Is operations up and running? No, let's get operations up and running. And let's get... Yeah, we're going to keep shields as a, a red alert here. We're going to start recharging our targeting jammer. Let's scan. I don't know. I assume it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work. Must be doing something wrong. So, yes, they have a few folks uh, that aren't going to last very long, but they probably have, like, quite a good contingent. However, I know how you guys are, and I know that you like your content solid. So I think uh, once we get a little more stamina on our shooty teams, we're going to go over there sooner rather than later. Our soldiers are conversing with some of the engineers talking about that recent battle, and then general quarters are sounded. I'm going to wait for their uh, break to be over. Just because I'm a nice guy. Uh, the command team, however, I, I click on that and I only get miles, which means that the others are kind of spread out everywhere. Captain Annie has got a spacesuit on. I'm not sure what she's up to. Uh, so, so that means at least one of them is off ship, uh, I think. There we go. There, they're all back now. Oh, that's great. Okay. We might actually, yeah, we're just going to bring the whole gang, I think. So let's uh, sound general quarters. Uh, draft all four of them. Teams three and four can go grab these vessels here. One and two in these. And let the stormtroopering begin. Over the comms, Captain Annie can hear. Playing as the shuttles approach. And she leans over and grabs the comm switch and says, Hey, shut that off and focus up. This isn't a time for fun. Captain Andy considers the plan. I think that the best thing to do would probably be split up into two uh, fire teams, two squads. I'm not sure. Okay, listen, you've been helping me. You've all been commenting on the size of apparently platoons or brigades are massive. Brigades are uh, made up of tons of platoons or something. We're talking thousands of people. So so I was wrong there. But uh, shout out to uh, Gerfer Bob. Uh, however you say your name, uh, my friend, uh, to point out that a fire team would be about four Marines, a squad, three of those fire teams, and a platoon is three to four squads. So all we can afford really are uh, two squads. So let's do one squad in through this end here. Uh, oh, I guess they're not docked, right? Okay, let's dock you there. Let's dock you there. We're going to dock you over here. And I think this this should be enough people that we can uh, guide our fire teams in. But I think this area is too wide open. So I don't want to go in here first. However, I do think we should all exit at the same time uh, in case we're, we find some surprises. So we want our maximum number of troops to exit at the same time here. There we are. Here we are. Ready? Okay, we pause the game. Oh, we're waiting here. There we go. We pause the game. Unleash all the fire teams. Whoops, whoops. Oh, I guess you can just press that button. <laughs> and it looks pretty good so far. So team one and two head over there. Three and four head over there. Wish us luck as we make our incursion. All right, the stormtroopers board. We could end up meeting in the middle, but the idea is to be able to, to divide up and split up the uh, defenders enough so that they can't stop us. There we go. There's one. One down. Lucy is now dead. Three and four. Careful. We don't want to pop the door and just find we have nothing but soldiers to deal with. Okay. In. Four. Two, three. Good. Somebody pop the door. Yeah, Dr. Thumbs, pop that door and take a look. What do we have over there? Oh, no! <laughs> Well, that didn't work great. Sal pooed himself, but then managed to get Dr. Thumbs to give up. So we're going to pop out into here. And collect up on that door. In the meantime, let's go through here. So I don't know, like, popping through a door and uh, peeking doesn't seem to be that useful, to be honest. Because it just ends up... You just end up with a bit of a problem. Okay, let's, let's square up on this door here. And Stormtrooper style. Just Actually, Frank, why don't you go and square up on this door? Okay, Frank is going to pop that door. Miles is going to pop this door. And then enter. Okay, nobody. Okay. Be careful. Let's pop up on this door here. Everybody get yourselves ready. Go for a kneel. Tanya, pop that door. There they are. 
Any ticket open wound? It just seems to be Sal right now. He might be the only one left. I'm not sure. We gotta be careful here. We don't wanna give Sal the upper hand. But if we time this right, we could potentially get... Wait, are you gonna go to the doorway? Is that gonna be bad? Lyson, is that bad? Okay, no. Oh, we got Chris down there. Oh, Chris is now dead. He was just about out of oxygen. That's a bummer. For him, not us, obviously. Okay, this is good. Yeah, this will help us get around Sal a little bit there. Maybe we could blast our way through this door. Or through this wall, rather. Keep going. You know what to do. Blast this door to pieces. Okay, we're making some progress here, but not much. It's hard to tell. I wish we could just click on that and see how well it was doing. I don't even know if that door is going to pop. So let's pop this door here. Head out into here. So you guys move out. Oh, Dr. Thumbs has decided to rejoin. Okay, good. We're not, I'm not really sure. Sal might have fallen and that just leaves, we're just currently just looking for his body now. Hard to tell. This team might surely pop into Sal any second now. There's no slavers around either. Where is Sal? That could be his body down here, unfortunately. I guess not unfortunately, but you know what I mean. Okay, they're out of O2. So let's bring some shuttles around here. And uh, team two, or see, team one and two over here. Three and four regroup that way. And let's finish this. Team 4 seems to be the most out of O2, so let's go grab some O2 from there. There's none, so th this shuttle will have to do. Uh, team, who has oxygen left? Nobody really has any oxygen left. Okay, that's fine. We'll get you guys bored in here. So we just kind of need to check that one spot. And I think Sal either has survived and is running around, or he's, he's now dead. So let's go. Team 2. Is it filling that up with oxygen? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's grab oxygen from this. Oops. No, sorry. Team two, I want you to grab oxygen from this. And uh, let's continue to explore this vessel. And with that, the Morning Wolf has been explored. And uh, all of her winnings are ours. Again, a pretty good haul here. We don't want any slaver collars. We're going to get everything else, though, including the bodies, because they make for excellent water. Look at what we would have faced, though. Oh, my goodness. That would have been tough. A couple of uh, slaves here, though, as well, who didn't survive, unfortunately. It makes me think that we might need to be more aggressive with our boarding tactics so that we can save a few more innocent souls while, of course, damning the rest. Conditions inside the prison are getting bad. It's hard to see, but there's another fallen corpse here. Unfortunately, the prison is now more... Uh, well, it, let's just say I'm not pleased with how the prison is going because it isn't a pleasant experience in there. In fact, it's quite bad. Folks are uh, dropping dead as they feel entirely forgotten. And uh, for the most part, they're kind of true. I mean, they're kind of right. I definitely sort of, you know, let's be honest. I am forgetting them a little bit. <laughs> but we definitely need to uh, find some uh, military alliance and uh, sell them off for justice as soon as possible. In the meantime, things continue. I just love how well designed, well packed, well designed, as I say myself, this area is back here. It's it's very productive. Uh, it's very central to even the extra storage over here or back here in the back of the ship. This uh, mechanic area has turned out to be the lifeblood of this ship, in a sense. Over here, things are a little more calm. This is a, a nice area where you can go and get some medical attention, and things quiet down on this end of the ship. It's quite nice over here, quite pleasant, I would say. And then, of course, the hubbub of the busy bars. This one seems to be the most popular one today with everyone hanging out. Maybe there's some sort of competition going on with the uh, arcade machine or something. This one is a bit of a quieter bar, but it gets just as busy as I think people like the view out these two windows here. Stardate 541, a fire breaks out in the incredibly crowded prison. This is something that they, we should have seen coming. I don't think it's a ruse to take the ship over, as they are all thoroughly demoralized, but Tatiana, Dr. Aura, and Jedediah take to the fire to put it out. With more, I believe, more on the way. Captain Annie's coming to see what's going on, and a whole troop, a whole brigade, if you will, is headed towards to go and help stop it. Man, they really just stop uh, everything and run, don't they, when that's it's coming time. Meanwhile, uh, while the ship is burning to a piece, uh, the ship also takes to warp. 
so that we can get out of this sector here. And I think we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go explore the northern territories and see if we can't find a ship with which to sell some of our uh, military acquisitions. We can't really sell to these folks. However, it looks like the, oh, no, wait, that's the merchants, isn't it? Okay, so we have to avoid the merchants. I don't want to deal with the merchants or destroy them or anything. I would rather uh, leave them alone. But I'd like to find the military. I just don't... Oh, for heaven's sake, there's a whole base here. Okay, we're going to go back and defeat that pirate base in a moment. I'd really like to find... Uh, evade, evasion succeeded, good. I'd really like to find some military, but I don't think they're going to be hovering around in any of these slaver territories. Okay, there's a slaver ship there. Yeah, I just don't think the odds are very good, or very in our favor, that we're going to actually find... Uh, the military alliance, which means that these prisoners are going to steadily build up more and more, and eventually they're going to need to become water. In the meantime, before we prepare ourselves, we need to get our shields back up because we were in a sector that had a nebula in it. So I want to get the shields up first, and I would like to uh, deal with uh, some resources, make sure these fires are out and the smoke is dealt with, get our, all our prisoners back in there, and uh, then we're going to go assault the base. While collecting resources, it looks like our evasion of some of the slavers has failed, which is somewhat disappointing, but something that we foresaw happening, of course. We're going to drop out here next to these slavers right here, and we do have our, uh, our, uh, what do you call it, our jammer is powered up, so I'm not too worried about it, but it does make me think, oh my goodness, look at those resources. That is so much energy, um, I love that. Um, it does make me think about something, and the thing it's making me think about right now is we're, we're going to get a lot of prisoners over these next few, uh, you know, days and months and weeks. Should we build a small prison ship? I think we have a lot of resources with which we could feed them. Mostly we could just give them... I think the thing they'll go through the most is water, so I am concerned about that. But if we built a small prison ship, we could certainly bring them with us. We could also build a small, like, satellite or something right here and just shove prisoners in it. But if we build a small prison ship, I could just load it up with solar panels so that it doesn't require too much, uh, you know, maintenance. We could give it some shields and a small crew. Maybe even get the logistics run by the refugees. Oh, the fighting continues. Oh my goodness, it looks like we're about to witness the death of Joshua over here. Kyoko about to destroy... Oh, my goodness. Joshua. I don't know if Joshua was going to make it. That was huge. Kyoko, what's your deal? Let's take a look at you. Weapons 3, 74% accuracy, even with a minus 16 debuff. I'm going to try to recruit you, I think. <laughs> that was uh, that was a good show. Good showing. Excellent work. But yeah, this, this prison is just an absolute abysmal wreck in here. There's no way we're going to get too many people to join us at this point. And we need to, to either sell them off or put them somewhere where they can at least be safe and the rest of our ship can be safe as well. I'm just not sure if it's worth it. Leave it a comment below if you think it's time to build a small prison ship. We only have a few sectors left. We have this slaver's sector and then we have the pirates to deal with. Uh, then we've mostly brought a, f a fair amount of peace to the galaxy. Let's power up our turrets and... Not really. We'll put our navigation on red as well. Uh, let's wait for the incoming meteorides. Meteorides? Meteoroids to be done. Then we'll get our shields back up, as I'm sure their shields will be damaged as well. Once our shields are back up, we will stop charging the jammer and open fire on the pew pew. The SGS, the pew pew. Okay, no, uh, no time for us to do that because they are going to try to board us with four people. That's all right. I'm fine with that because it's just going to make our lives easier in the long run. Team one is asleep. That means they might actually be able to get there quicker. Team three is drafted. Team two has Axel operating one of the control panels, but that should be okay. We'll get somebody else on that momentarily. I think it was just operations anyway. Here comes the... I love that they come up with two shuttles. This shuttle is uh, essentially just going to provide some extra oxygen and hold all of their booty that they assume these four crew members are going to be able to take from my ship. But that does not happen on board my ship. I do not lose my ship, says Captain Annie, as she cocks her submachine gun or whatever she has. 
or assault rifle. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, here goes the boarding and just in time for the welcome party to be ready. Oh my goodness, they're going to enter this this ship and see at their feet all of their friends from other vessels. Maybe they'd been passing letters back and forth to each other. Maybe some of them had crushes on each other. But sadly, they will not uh, get to do much else. They will not hear from them again as well, but for maybe in the afterlife, which is where they're headed. Then Carrion gets to there and looks at them and says, join your friends. Join them. And joins them. I will accept this one surrender, how about? <laughs> Cassie, however, having seen how brutal and unforgiving we are, uh, agrees to be taken prisoner. Good for her. She's not really going to like what she finds, but uh, good for her nonetheless. So we're going to undraft all these folks and send them back to their jobs. And we take in, oh, Joseph and Kathy, our new prisoners. With our shields up, uh, Captain Annie orders Brevin to stop charging the targeting jammer and we power up our disruptors and prepare to fire. As soon as I see that targeting jammer start to lose charge, we're going to be able to open fire. There we are. Our disruptors fire back at theirs. Our shields hold fairly steady, but so do theirs. We get our missile launcher ready to go. Oh, resisted recruitment. That's okay. That's okay. You'll join us eventually. All right, we're gonna whittle down these shields. Their shields fall first, and we're gonna get our missile launcher involved. And the pew pew decides to jump for it. That's all right. It's not gonna last very long, and we give chase. Oh, we did leave a lot of resources behind, though. That was a good little sector. Maybe I should have left the targeting jammer up for a little bit while we went around getting the stuff we wanted. Okay, there. Uh, oh, uh, the slavers. I guess we'll, we'll go for the pirates later, I suppose. The evasion is succeeded, and they go to their home base, where the evasion is once again successful, but it looks like if we wait... Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not sure. It looks like maybe they swapped places with another slaver, and those slavers are going to pull us out. That's okay, though. We're near... Oh, that's weird. I guess we're just popping out near their... Uh... Oh, Android Collective. Yeah, we'll talk to you guys. Yeah, we're popping out near their star base, which is okay. However, I believe it's also armed to the teeth. I don't think it has... Oh, it does have two shuttles, so they might try to board us, and we're going to definitely want that to happen. Let's get somebody on our operations console and see what it is the, the androids want. Uh, we'll also trade with them. I think we can sell off a lot of our guns. Cassie, with her arms up, is headed to the med bay, and she sees just how large this massive ship was and just how futile their attempt to take it is. She sees out one of the windows that we are near a pirate, a slaver base, and she thinks, maybe they'll have a chance to save us. But I think she thinks she'd be wrong. We've waited them out a fair while, even through some uh, micrometeoroid showers, and they have not launched either of their shuttles to come get us. I was able to drop one scan, and I think that was maybe because of the micrometeoroids, and saw, yes, quite a lot of people. Just kind of looked at their center area. Looks like there's going to be a big hallway here to take. However, for some reason, I can't seem to uh, scan them anymore, and I think it most likely has something to do with the targeting jammer being up. So I think we're going to have to go in somewhat blind and we're going to do a stormtrooper. We're going to board here and here, I think. And we're going to, uh, I guess, you know, wish for the best. Hope for the best? Hope for the best. As the troops are... Oh, I just love how busy this hallway is. <laughs> As the troops are crossing, crisscrossing and headed to their shuttles, another vessel, a Merchant Federation vessel this time, is headed in. So we do have somebody, I believe, on operations. Uh, as standing by at red alert um, so that we can basically sue for peace immediately. But we do have our targeting jammer up and running. So hopefully they don't interrupt our boarding action here and cause any problems. But for the most part, I'm thinking we're going to be okay, provided we don't lose power to our, uh, what's it thing? Our targeting jammer, which I, I guess I can't remember the name for that today. So we're going to board. We're going to just kind of stormtrooper our way in and hope for the best these two entrances and we will see just how well that does i don't think there are any entrances on the outside of the base so we can't just land and come out as a squad moving across here like some sort of asteroid hoth assault unfortunately it's just these two entrances right here 
So they line up. Captain Annie, ever the brave person, is, uh, I assume, going to be ready to go in there first. Team two, let's get you set up. Uh, where do you need to be to be able to get in there? I'm not sure how that exactly works when it's kind of set up like this. I think it's actually supposed to be the other way. We're actually supposed to have you guys board out there. Oh my goodness, I don't know why, but Vaughn has really bad... I think I don't think Vaughn got suicidal. Oh my goodness, I don't think Vaughn has been having a good time uh, lately. Uh, conditions. What is happening? Uncomfortable environment. Attempted suicide. Attempted suicide but failed at it. I really can't get anything done right. Oh, there has to be... I wish there was a way to help him. You know what we need? Uh, you know, Space Haven team, if you're listening... We need therapists. We need there to be like doctor's appointments that you can regularly go to in your med bay that like provide some kind of bonuses or at least can cure certain ailments like aliens haunting their dreams and stuff. <laughs> but with nothing left to do except board, we enter the, how do we enter the craft, I guess? Move to there, there we go. And we'll do the same here. And again, hope for the best, but I don't know. It's, this could, this could be bad. Okay, that's looking fairly... It's not too bad. Paul is already down. Team 1 over here is met with a little bit of resistance as well, but Team 2 kind of bursts through the door and takes Alexander down as well. Meanwhile, Team 3 and 4 seems to have com uh, completely taken the breach as well. And the battle of <laughs> the Ella Rosetta is off to a good start. Now, in case we need to exfil through here, we're unfortunately going to have to deal with Remy and uh, make him water. Team one and two advance through here. Oh, they've taken, it looks like somebody else tried to pop the door, so be careful. There's gonna be some more folks coming through here. Looks like there was a bit of a bloodbath on this end of the base. Okay, we're gonna come through here. Oh, careful. Where's four? Where's team four? Oh, they're stacked or something, okay. Oh, good hit, good hit. So team one. Let's bring you guys around here. Unless we can get out there, but I don't think we can. Oh, there's an open wound. So team four, line up on the door there. Okay, right through. Here we go. I don't think anybody's around. I mean, famous last words, of course. I know there's a, they have a lot of people, but it doesn't seem to be putting up much of a fight. Oh, it looks like Axel has given up. I didn't notice that uh, happen. But that's all right. Our stormtroopers continue. We can check that behind Elizabeth there. Okay, good. I wish we could sabotage that and just drop power. Pop that door carefully, though, of course. There's slaves walking around everywhere. I guess we could free that person. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well, we freed an enemy slave, but they're a slave nonetheless. Teams three and four join in the main corridor. I'm not seeing anybody. Ship entered. MFS Aya's Hope. Oh my goodness, and Molly here. Okay, let's, uh, while this is frozen, let's do C. There we are. Oh, Molly tries to go and just operate that panel instead. All right, we found the slaving, the enslavement facility where people can sit here and observe as the slaves are created, are collared. Absolutely horrible. Horrible behavior. Let's, in the meantime, let's hail the Aya's Hope, which is fairly well armored, but again, we're not too worried about that. Okay, team one, uh, I propose a ceasefire. Confirm ceasefire, there we are. Ceasefire is accepted, good. Let's talk to this person and accept their surrender. Excellent work, I will decline and I will take her prisoner. She's probably our only prisoner that we're gonna meet. Everybody else seems to have been cleaned out. All right, teams three and four continue scanning and looking through the ship. Teams one, oh, this is a problem. This is a big problem. We have uh, quite the number of slaves to deal with. That's going to be a lot of refugees, and that is going to cause that is going to cause some major problems. Axel, I need you to start. I need you to go talk to these people. Hopefully, they're merchant federations. Yeah, they are merchant federations. Okay, they're good. So we can free all slaves and make them refugees. Allied and neutral factions. Good. And they're, oh, because we have a, 
Yeah, we, of course we've detected... I know you've detected that. We just saved them. <laughs> well, your faction members have sent out a distress call. Do you know what happened to them? Oh, yeah, we do. We have refugees. Release refugees. Only three? Oh, man. I was hoping a lot more of them would be merchant-fed. Goodbye. Okay. So who are you all, then? Where are you from? What is that? Android Collective. So there's a bunch of Androids Military Alliance here as well. Oh, that is a lot of refugees to work with. This is going to be tricky. But at least we now have this vessel, have this whole shuttle taken down, this whole base. They've not given it up yet, which is weird. Come along. Give us the base. Molly and Steven are going here. There must be something I'm missing. There always is. There's always something that I've done wrong, which is why it's not coming up as a derelict just yet. The Ella Rosetta base. You have to board it and seize the derelict if you want to salvage it. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, maybe just we have No, we've been there before. So we just have to figure out what we need to do to uh, claim this area. Maybe a little spacewalk is in order. The Merchant Federation is suspicious. Already known that we're holding faction members as... We'll just give you more people. That's fine. <laughs> we're not pleased with your recent actions. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. They want a bunch of credits. Uh, so... Oh, it would improve their our relationship with them. And only 8,000 credits. We can get a relationship boost of 58. So I think I'm actually going to... Oh, that 40 hyperfuel, though, is no good. So let's suffer the consequences because they're already going to be mad. Um... And let's deal, let's, oh. Is that them boarding us? Oh, there's nobody on board. Oh, so I think they're, okay. We just need to hail them and get another ceasefire going. Otherwise, that's going to cause weird problems. Uh, ceasefire, confirm ceasefire. Thank you. Okay, so now that's back to a yellow. And they'll be able to join and get their prisoners. We need, so I think we need to get the refugees over to that other ship so that they can be released. Okay, this is confusing, but we can do this. What it turned out to be was there was a few prisoners left who had not become refugees. They were uh, prisoners taken by uh, the slavers as Android Collective. So we went and freed those three prisoners, then turned them into refugees, at which point this whole thing was surrendered as a derelict. So we got a pretty nice haul from that, as I, I think I should have, I just clicked away too fast here. A lot of food, which will be helpful for a little bit at least, and uh, some weaponry, and of course some more uh, recyclables, we'll call them. As well as I have uh, ordered, or Captain Annie, I guess, has ordered the energy, uh, oh, not the hull scrap, the energy and tech scrap to be uh, salvaged so that the vessel, this, this base, is no longer able to be used as a hideout for more slavers. Uh, it looks, looks like I have taken apart the hull just enough uh, that it is now venting atmosphere. So unfortunately, they will need their spacesuits uh, rather soon. To continue picking up all of the booty, but that's that's my fault. A warning goes out to the crew that's busy picking from the corpse of the starbase. The Slavers Guild is sending back up, either to go pick up the people that they think they've left behind, like all those prisoners that they want, or because they've seen a distress signal come out from this base. Either way, they're about six hours away, and we will be ready. And sure enough, it is the Pew Pew has re-entered, so it looks like they're spoiling for another fight. I'm going to just go ahead and call this to stop charging, and we'll open fire as soon as we can, especially because we don't want their engines... Uh, or their shields to go back up. It looks like they're going to jump right away anyway. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. Well, that's okay because that gives us time to go over what is going on with our power situation. I think we're just too far away. There's just not enough solar output in this area uh, to produce enough power. So I think what's happening is we are just not able to keep up with the uh, demands with our two generators. Consuming 106.9, so like, first of all, it sounds like a radio station. But second of all, what is it that's pulling all that power out? Something in this area is quite hungry. Not sure what that could be, though. Recharging of that is halted, so hopefully that saves us some cash. I'm not really sure. Uh, some cash. You heard me. Some, some uh, energy. But I'm not really sure. We definitely want things to be up and running for when we land. 
Let's turn operations off. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's the turrets. It could also be the turrets. Seems to have settled down. But yeah, as you can see, our batteries are just not filling up, which uh, does not bode well. Unless we can get these batteries to fill up, that means we are definitely not in a safe spot. Why is this filling up first, though? That should be a metered connection, but it's probably just taking all it needs and then powering up that battery. Maybe this battery isn't in the right spot. Yeah, because that just fills up and then feeds this thing back. But it gets all of the power because of its proximity to the generators, as far as I can tell. Okay, well, we'll keep working on that. But in the meantime, we've got the Pew Pew to go and hunt down. Captain Annie pulls us out of warp right alongside the Pew Pew. And with our, uh, our what's-its down, <laughs> our uh, targeting jammer, surely they will think that we are worthy prey. And that they did. They've started opening fire, but that's all right because their shields aren't going to last very long. And we'll get our missile launcher up to task immediately. If we can get a couple of holes punched in their command deck, we will probably pull them off of all of the panels, including the launch one, so they won't be able to spool their engines up. Although, looks like there's a couple of holes there. If we're lucky, they won't be able to jump right away, but it looks like they've had enough time probably to get ready for a jump. And there they go. We give chase. After dropping out in a nearby sector, we are able to uh, reacquire target and fire on them. This time, their hull is so low, I just don't think that they're going to be able to get their shields up in time. Once their shuttles launch, after they're destroyed, uh, decline, of course, we're going to get over there as soon as possible. Uh, to avoid, I guess, letting the slaves die in the asphyxiation of oxygen. And uh, it's going to present more risk for us, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. And it worked before, so we'll try it again. Captain Annie orders them to board, separate into two different uh, fire teams, and take the ship from the back to the front, splitting the ship from the chop to the naves. So we'll unboard here. Looks like not too much resistance right off the top, but again, we didn't give them a lot of time to uh, asphyxiate. So that means that there's going to be a bunch of them ready to fight. So let's line up on these doors. Nope, wrong uh, fire team. Let's line up on, okay, that's fine. Let's line up here. There we go. Let's line up on that door and pop the door. Dencarion, you guys, everybody, kneel, pop the door. Nothing, okay, get in there. Oh, Matthew's gonna put up a fight here. He's trying to get through that door. Captain Annie is there. Miles comes forward. Oh, he does not stand a chance. As soon as he popped the door, that was it for him. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's get around that corner. Samantha, careful. Good. All right, now turn your attention to that. Oh, that was cool to watch. Okay, they're all going to kneel and hold up there. Let's see if we can't get this team around to help get them from behind. In the meantime, we'll clear out this way. That was a lot of them, so we gotta be careful. There's like a full-on fire team headed this way. Oops, uh, I misclicked. Okay, let's put you guys there. Kathy is getting okay shots on, but she's taking too much damage, so that's not good enough for her. She's gonna back off. Okay, let's see if we can't get around to the command center here. Okay, the entire team's coming, but we are kneeling. They're not getting good hits on us, I don't think, but there's a lot of them there. I, I would like to go do a proper battle with them, but I hesitate to move from this firing position. I wonder if kneeling is actually helpful. But that seems to be very helpful right now. I don't know if it's the kneeling or that position, but it was a bit cheesy, but it worked. Vaughn moves into position. Comes a little closer and finds an upset Adrian here. Come on through, Samantha. All right. Well, let's turn them into water. Oh, nobody watch this part. Just skip ahead a few minutes. This is not enjoyable, but we just don't have the room for these prisoners. <laughs> and we can't have them uh, getting free if it gets to the point that we can't hold this uh, attack. Okay, we'll go through here. And through here. All right, let's take a look at the slave quarters. Free any that we find, but it doesn't look like we're going to find too many. I could have sworn there were at least a few around, but maybe not. Whoops, don't kill anybody. 
Okay, let's go free this back area. Oh, there's Kathy. Somebody come around here, come in through these doors and get rid of Kathy. License is taking a lot of hits from Kathy, and there we are. Kathy gives up the ghost. We're going to keep Kathy, though, because uh, she, I mean, she held out and hid from us very well. So we actually quite like Kathy. I want to bring her over. Let's see how uh, good she is. She gave up right away, which makes me think her surrender is high. 55. But that is also, oh, she's suicidal as well. Okay, so yeah, she's no good, but uh, she was she's a worthy adversary who did a good job of uh, hiding from us, I suppose. That, that should be uh, admired, right? Let's take a look at what our kill is. Another good round of some food, some energy, water, all the useful stuff. Uh, a beautiful haul from the SGS the Pew Pew. <laughs> I love it. So we're going to get that prisoner on board there. Then I can undraft all these other vessels. Hopefully to go and save these folks because they're kind of out of oxygen right now. We're going to undraft, 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 and undraft. And they will tend to organize themselves, but hopefully I don't have anybody die. Oh, we do have somebody here. Although I need some folks to get some oxygen. I don't want anybody to die doing this, but let's get Tanya since she's here to go and talk to this uh, slave and get ourselves a civilian refugee free all the slaves and make them refugees goodbye there we are excellent work Tanya a passing android ship finds that we've uh, freed another three refugees uh, from slavery so they're gonna get those people back we'll probably do a little bit of trading with these folks as well the Android collective always fun to trade with uh, always fairly emotionless. And then I think we need to head out and find some military and some civilians with which to go and drop off these prisoners. The prison is very in, in very bad shape. But I think if we uh, pop out of this system to go find the military really quickly, just pop out for air, sell off the uh, prisoners, I think we can go back to our conquests and not have to really think about building another ship. But I do enjoy leaving sectors full of enemy ships just full of derelicts that they could possibly explore. It's almost like, I think, in the ocean when you scuttle a ship so that it becomes coral reef food or something like that. I think that's what we've done here. Some A nice family of haulers and crawlers will move in here and just start setting up little egg clutches all over the place. We, we didn't um, salvage these beds, so that'll be nice and comfortable for some of the haulers to sleep in when they're not waiting for unsuspecting adventurers to come by. And I think overall that's better for the ecosystem. It's better than slavers. So let's do some trades here. Uh, yeah, I'll do that in a moment. Uh, but let's bid adieu uh, to the ship one more time. We've had an excellent day. Food is starting to become a little hard to come by. Uh, some, some complaining is going on. Now these are refugees that are about to leave, so that's probably why they're upset. Oxygen has also been quite hard to produce with our O2 down, uh, saturation down to 70%. It's a little better now ever since I built one out in this hall. Uh, but that is, it's not doing much to give them oxygen. I might have to give them more space to spread out. Uh, I might actually just do that. Permissions, uh, oh, refugee area. We should set the refugee area like wider or something. They can actually just like, go down this hall and uh, maybe they can maybe they can go into here too. Set refugee area into there. They're, they should be allowed to be up in, in this stuff. Why not? Let's let them, let's let them go into that little area. <laughs> The refugees can have a bit more space. That'll hopefully help spread them out a little bit. They'll get some oxygen. Or they'll just use up all the oxygen. We might have to build another oxygen generator, I guess. We could fit another one there. So that is going to eat up a lot of water. Uh, but it's going to provide fewer deaths. So let's get that going. And see if we can't keep these prisoners happy just long enough to see them to justice. Also, we're still having fluctuating power problems, probably because of all the oxygen generators that we're building. And also, I've noticed that this sector is only giving us a solar output of 24.8. So we could actually uh, be in a much better spot if we just found a spot a little closer to a star. So problems abound, but our ship is still victorious. The SGS is not going to be put down lightly. Although, yes, it is very hard to manage a ship this size. Uh, without building another generator, which I could just do. We could just build another generator, but I don't really want to. Now, we could build it actually right here. Power. 
X1. What about a... Uh, oh, we only have the X1 researched. So we should probably switch our research to an X2. However, we could get one right here would be good. And it looks like we could even get a... Oh, that's good enough. I'm going to place one down just for now, just to kind of help cover the uh, power gaps. And we can always power it down once we're not in a uh, solar deficit. I hope you found this to be some truly solid content. Another ship full of activity, another episode full of battles and full of victories. We will see you all when we follow um, Owen, who's a sub-captain, I guess. Oh, let me guess. In the prison? Yeah. Somebody, okay. The refugees are setting fires. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to conclude the episode. Stop setting fires everywhere. <laughs> Where's Captain Annie? What's she up to? She's standing here trying to figure out who keeps turning the lights off. Uh, Captain Annie is always very stressed out, trying to just keep this ship together, keep things moving. Can she do it? We know she can. This is the second star system they've been through. And nothing like some power fluctuations are going to slow her down. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next episode of Space Haven. <laughs>